All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Rizajados, back again with Life is Strange Before the Storm Episode 3. The final countdown is now. And this is a message from David. I didn't know if I got it in my previous video, but I'm going to read this either way. Chloe, this is David. Um, did my number, did my mom give you my number? Yes, she did. I noticed you took your father's toolbox. Are you working on a project? Uh, sort of. What kind of project? Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Well, I'm glad to see you taking an interest in something. Keep it up. Okay. Despite all my bad mouthing of David that he's a douche and all that, I did like that text. You know, at least he didn't give me no bullcrap graffiti. Hmm. What do I see? I see a poop. Raven. I like the lion. Oh. I know. Yes. Give me Simba. Better better be singing Hakuna Matata. Or playing with his Hakuna Matatas. Either way. One or the other I'll be satisfied with. What does she make? Ah, <laughs> it's a freaking light. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what, we, what else we got. Uh, what is this? Oh, I didn't even get to read it because the stupid thing moves so fast. It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Well, we got... I'm pretty sure we got the right tools, right? Yeah. Much better. All right, cool. So that way the engine starts working fine. All right, let's see the radiator cap. This thing seems pretty gunked up. Yeah, it's freaking green. I think I should move on to something else. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's this? The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Something small, huh? Uh, well, let, let, let's look around. Let's okay. Let's look at the intake tube. It looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Oh, I did this check this in my last video. I just born. didn't check it in this video. At Secrets. This point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. Yeah, yeah. I mean, unless we got duct tape, fresh duct tape. I would not suggest otherwise. Shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Why do we want... Okay, there's other tools. Yeah. I can definitely... Get the pliers. No, the pliers will fuck it up. Okay, so we need something to scrape... Let's get the screwdriver to scrape off the distributor cap. I don't know how we're going to pick up the thing with the freaking pliers. It'll cut through the thingy. That's pretty stupid. Yeah, perfect. See? Genius. It's going to blow up. Watch. Help keep shit distributed. Well, fuck. Reattach? What happened? Go back from whence you came. Why did it make me do that? Like, did, there was no reason for it. I got a text, huh? Who's the text from? From. Da 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 da. Arcadia Kimmy's fire. I don't have time to hear about your fire stories, sir. What's it's this? Not like I need a manual. But I'm no, I... really glad it's here. Yeah, yeah, like, that, that's not what I was wanted to know. Like, okay, look. Um, here's the thing. How are we going to get the battery? Not the screwdriver. Maybe something's wrong with the battery post. Yeah, but you said get it out. How do I get it? It's... I bet Dad would have liked the idea of me using his tools to fix a ride. I mean, the wrench is probably more safer than the stupid pliers to pull something out. Especially this. Not helping. Oh, how's, whose fault is that? Is that my fault or your fault? Questioning me, game fighting with me. 
I don't know. Every time I hear that little chime, I think about um, the song by the game. What is it? Uh, there. Oh, what song is it? The Doctor's Advocate. Wait, what, what, what are we talking about? Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Wait, what? The spark plugs messed up. Can we just take it from another car? I mean, there was a new car not that far away. We could have just stole some parts from there. What is she getting? What is she doing? I love her. I love her blue hair, guys. That is the hair. It's gonna be Frank. It's gonna creep up on me, huh? Please. Wait. I need you. It works. So far, so good. Uh, let's give it a couple of feet. If it breaks, then we know we're screwed. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> D does she know how to drive, or is she just playing games? Oh, uh, something bad's gonna happen. Well, I'm guessing she knows how to drive. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we got a vehicle for sure. But show. For show. And they're not going to maybe change outfits again, are they? What happened? Oh, like what's going on? Junkyard Queen. Where are you at? In my secret lair, of course. Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so blue. Yes. Yes <laughs> it is. Badass. <laughs> exactly. Hey. I'm not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? <laughs> hey, Price. Nice wheels. Frank? Rachel? Rachel? You're Frank? Really Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? I got it. Um, here. It's right here. Obviously, I was going to give it to you. You don't have to be such a dick about it. What's wrong with Rachel? Hey, isn't this the douchebag that irritated me earlier? Like at the beginning of the game? You heard what happened to Drew. Right? Who's Drew? Oh. Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. No, it's not this. Oh, it's the douchebag that kicked Drew's ass. Don't fucking touch her. Like, Dick, you got your money, Why so... Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly, it's a whole other thing. You might want to check your issues. Frank your privileges, my friend. You were asking about a client of his. <clears throat> true? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't. 
Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. Okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now. Why you give a shit about this woman? Um. Why do you care so much? A friend. I, sh she's a friend. An old family friend. <laughs> this chick doesn't have any family. Or any friends. Sure about that? Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it. Is Rachel gonna say something? No. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? That makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? Who cares? So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Like, this is a very interesting conversation with this douchebag. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. That's right. Grab the knife. Chloe, grab the goddamn knife. Why would you leave it there? Oh, you fucking bitch. Like the knife's on the floor and everyone just stares at it. Oh no. Well, yeah, because nobody grabbed the damn knife. In the car, Rachel. In the car. Like, you see the weapon, and you stare at it. Why not pick it up and run with it or use it? One or the other. God, like, these girls are hopeless. <laughs> you know, this, this is actually, this, by far from a lot of the moments in this, this series alone, this is probably like my favorite part. It's been very interesting right here. I would rank this as very cool as the part in the beginning where you go inside the club with Rachel for the first time. Like that, those two parts were cool. Like I, I really liked them. I enjoyed them. A lot of the other scenes. Sorry, but I really don't care about them. Like they're just uninteresting or unimportant. Maybe the play, maybe the play, the dreams. Yeah. Hmm. Or finding out about Rachel's mom. Yeah, those parts are interesting, but everything else was just like, eh, cliche, life is strange. Just regular life situations. No importance to it. No real value of it. Oh, fuck. We didn't wrap up the injury. Like, how are these girls so hopeless? When you get a cut, wrap it up to prevent... The loss of blood. I mean, there was a lot of fabrics in our car. I mean, sure, it probably would have been a little dirty. But anything's better than nothing.
That sucks. And I, I have a feeling the family's gonna hate me for this situation, even though I really... Well, it, it is Chloe's fault for not picking up the goddamn knife when it was right there on the floor and being used to kill them. Is she fine? Rachel is going to be alright. Ooh. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery. That, that's a very that's important part of the... resting. Chloe, what happened? Um... It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. I mean, he's been honest with me. I'm Story not gonna lie to him. And tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? Yes. I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. Yeah, I know. I realize it. Especially since you're DA. So, I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, <laughs> he knows everyone. Right. But, Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? To ask about Sarah. He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing Of course. Is that how it became violent? Mm. He wanted dirt on you. When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? It was my fault. I, I called her Rachel. And he figured it out from there. It's not your fault. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him and then he stabbed her i keep thinking that maybe i could have done something hence what grabbing the knife just saying throwing that out there sorry when he attacked her <laughs> i just froze it's not your fault and frank held him off so we could get to the truck i heard a scream but I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. No, it's all your fault. <laughs> no. I was asking about Damon for now. Sarah's like the least concerning thing right now. Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a oh, damn, few I'm pale. later, she might not have. Uh... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. This is sad, like... Wait, so, okay, because, like, okay, I'll ask my questions afterwards, because it's probably going to be answered in time. Oh, hey. what's her name? Uh, I forget your name. The cool girl Steph. I like. Steph, there you go. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. 
You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. Wow. So everyone's just like taking a room in this freaking hospital. <laughs> I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well. Okay, you know what? We're gonna look at Come stuff. On. No chippies? Not that I have any coins anyway. No chippies. <laughs> oh man. Jackpot. <laughs> this reminds me of my old job. Wait, there's a lady behind us. She's gonna get mad on. No, I'm not gonna do it. It's not worth it. <laughs> I don't wanna get kicked out already. Just got in here. I remember at my old job. One more hour of work. Like, we used to have a whole bunch of vending machines. Back. So. Every now and then, people will buy stuff for the vending machine, and like it'll glitch out and just hang right there. And so, in the middle of the night, when everyone left, I would walk by the vending machines and I'll see Being which one had a hanging stuff. Sucks. And I'll just push it really quick, just and then of course, a whole bunch of chips would come out every now and then. Better. Like, yeah, what's going on? Leave. Frank, big time. And the guys who would fill up the I can't oh, hold on. he did that for us. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. Not like I can do anything about it one way or the other about Damon? Is, is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh. That's weird. Yeah, so, like, I would hit it and, like, a whole bunch of chips would come down. And I used to know the guys that would fill the vending machine, and I asked them, okay, I'm like, hey, you know, is it cool if I do this? Because I don't want, I want you guys to... We have said like, hey, Jesse's taking our chips, and he, they'll be like, nah. I mean, people already. <laughs> if I want to stay sane. I need to stay busy. I mean, they'll be like, you know, I know it's that stuff that people already paid for them, but care. nobody got them, so technically they are paid for. <laughs> so I was like, all right. This business must be booming. So every now and then I'll leave like with a couple bags of chips, candy. Oh, a good day. Those are good times at my job. What? Am I leaving? I know those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. You think? Ugh. If you're this useless now, what are you gonna do at 3 a.m. when the oh, baby needs- There's a sign for the prenatal class. Great. I guess that's your contribution for today. Did she just find out she was pregnant? Those people suck. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, I think they- I think they just- she got her pregnant right now. I guess what I'm guessing. I don't know. Unless they were already pregnant. Oh, that was the people I stole the the wine from. <laughs> so she ended up getting pregnant right after. Life is interesting. Like, oh wait, what's it? Still around? We're in room 784, 85. In case you forgot. Oh, uh, I kind of did actually. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was like, what am I doing? Nope. Should I talk to anyone? Can I talk to this lady? She, she, nah, she's just there to make sure I don't steal any chips. Like at my old job. <laughs> The good old days. Who's this? All right, then. Thank you. Who's this guy? Hi. Mr. North. Mr. North. That's me. And you are? Oh, I'm is Chloe. the father? Uh, both Drew and, um... See Drew? I forgot the other guy's name. I always yeah. forget their names. I'm horrible with names. That's my main problem in life. I can't remember people's names. I can remember your face detail by detail. But if you ask me to remember your name, I will struggle. How are things? Uh, well, nice meeting you. Well. Oh, I didn't mean like to. It was nice meeting you. Likewise. Oh, I didn't oh, mean to like me. push it aside. I wanted to ask him how he's doing. Can I ask him? Oh, no, I already screwed up. Damn. Hey. Firefighter just heard. I hope Drew's doing better. I should visit him. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Let's not go there. That's the mom. We'll talk to the mom right now after we check on Drew. Because I don't want to, like, do one thing and they'll be like, Oh, you can't do anything else. Then it's going to be all my fault. Yet again. Hi, guys. Hey. You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. How you doing, Drew? Hey, Drew. Um... How's your knee? How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh, I'm not sure actually. It's too early to tell. Well, you gotta be positive, Drew. That's all I'm Sorry gonna tell you. To hear it. 
It's it's all good. You want me to send your cast? Oh, what? the hair, by the way. Jelly? Pretty cool. Are you jelly? They're jelly. Um... Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> just uh, trying it out. Sometimes you've just got to do something new. That's right. Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. Same guy that screwed you over. Happened. She got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick. Seriously? It, it wasn't because of me, was it? Um. No, not at all. If anything, I should have thought about what happened to you before getting Rachel involved. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. <laughs> I yeah. wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much money now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. <laughs> See you, Pops. Sorry, right, Drew. We'll get him eventually. Maybe. I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Uh, let's talk to Drew a little more. Hey. Sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by. Feel better. Feel better. I mean, no pressure. <laughs> I know it's going to take a while. Not the best speaker, you know honestly. What? I'm kind of tired. Oh. Oh, right. right. I'll, um, I'll leave you alone. Oh, uh, sure. Okay. That was a weird conversation. Let's talk to staff. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. Can I talk to, um, what's his name? Oh, they're like a duel? Drew's been in a lot of pain today. Okay, guys, I, I get it, I get it. Um, so you guys want me to leave, right? I'll leave, I'll leave. What's the letter say? I'm not going to look at the letter. I'm not going to be nosy homework. What the hell? Who gives him homework when he's freaking, in, like, stuff? All right, guys, I'm, I'll be back. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to check. All right. I'm going to head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah. Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. Same goes for you. You bet. All right. So, um, from one problem to that, Chloe, this is me. This is Mr. A Amber. Rachel is just waking up now. I'm sure she'd love to see you. Thanks. All right, cool. All right, then, guys. You know what? I have to head, head down the hallway to go see Rachel's mom first. And then we're going to go see what's up with Rachel and find out if she's okay once and for all. So until next time, like if you enjoyed, subscribe, and see some more of me. Share with your friends. Wait. Hands, you're failing me again. It's liking Fabian if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you'd like to see some more of me. Share with your friends. And this is your boy, Elizabeth Jados, signing out. Bye bye. <laughs> Made a track when I step on the scene. I do or die all my life with or without a team. Fast or slow, bro. You can't catch me though. Too fast, too furious, too hungry for y'all to see. I mean what I say and say what I mean. I'm the goddamn reason hip hop's back on the street. Used to put work in the streets. Now I lay my work on beats and let them work for me. Yeah, so I close my eyes, work and stay on. It's a must. I go from dust till dawn. So I close my eyes, work and stay on. It's a must. I go from dust till dawn.